Hi there, I hope you are doing well. Today we'll tackle the challenge of finding the kth missing positive integer. The question is stated as, given an array of positive integers sorted in a strictly increasing order and an integer k, return the kth positive integer that is missing from this array. They have given us a couple of examples and we will review those in a bit. The question also includes a follow-up to solve it with less than O of n time complexity. While the initial question is marked as easy, I believe this refers to the O of n solution. In my view, achieving a solution that is better than O of n would be of a medium difficulty. Now, there is a good chance that your interviewer is most likely looking for a solution that is better than O of n. We will review both the approaches in this video. Let's start by examining the initial example presented in the question. During our analysis, we'll focus on the O of N approach for each example. The input array contains the elements 2, 3, 4, 7, and 11 with K equal to 5. The expected output for this example is 9. So how do they arrive at this result? Let's visualize the array starting from 1 up to the last element 11 without any missing numbers. Now, if you compare the two arrays, the numbers missing in the input array are 1, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Therefore, the fifth missing number is 9, which is the output. So that was pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at their second example. The input array consists of four elements, 1, 2, 3, and 4, with k equal to 2. The expected output is 6. It's important to note that the output 6 exceeds the largest element in the array, which is 4, and is outside the array's range. To handle this, we should enumerate from 1 to the length of array plus k. In this instance, the array's length is 4 and k is equal to 2, making it a total of 6. Let's lay out the numbers from 1 to 6. The first missing number in the original array is 5 and the second missing number is 6, which is the answer. So let's now examine the code for this approach. The function kth missing positive number takes an integer array and k as parameters. So the first thing we'll do is create a set out of the input array that will make our lookups constant. Next, we'll iterate our variable i from 1 to the length of array plus k plus 1. By adding 1 to the range, we ensure that k is included in the iteration. If i is not in the set, that means we have found the missing number and so we'll reduce k by 1. If k is equal to 0, we have found our kth positive integer and we'll return i from the function. If n is the number of elements in the array, the time complexity will be O of n plus k. The space complexity of this uh, approach is O of n for the additional set that we create. Let's explore how we can improve the time complexity. We'll go over a couple of observations first and work through a small challenge that will help us arrive at a solution with improved time. Here is a sorted array as an example, and these are the indices of this array. Now, given an element and its index, can we determine how many missing numbers are there before that index? So consider this scenario. Suppose the index is 2, right? How many numbers are missing before the index 2 or the number 5? Please take a moment to see whether you can answer this question. So if we subtract the index 2, from the element at index 2, which is 5, we get 3. Since the missing numbers start from 1, subtracting 1 from this result gives us 2. Therefore, there are two missing numbers before index 2, namely 1 and 4. So let's derive a formula to find the count of numbers missing before an index i. Let's say MBI, which stands for missing before i, is equal to array of i minus i minus 1. So the first observation is that given a sorted array with missing numbers, we can always find the count of numbers missing before any index using this formula. 
As the next step, let's see how we can use this observation to our advantage. So using the missing before index formula, let's calculate the count of missing numbers before each index. Let's assume k is equal to 4. Now consider this, where would the fourth missing number be located? In other words, between which indices should the fourth missing number lie? So there are two missing numbers before the index 2 and five missing numbers before the index 3. Hence, the fourth missing number will lie between index 2 and 3. So the second observation we make is that there will always be a lower bound and an upper bound index between which the kth missing number will be located. So in our solution, we can always create an array to track the count of missing numbers before each index as demonstrated here. But once we've identified the lower and upper bounds of numbers between which the kth missing number is situated, how would we then determine the kth missing number within this range? Basically, we need to determine uh, that from the element at lower bound index, how far out should we go to find the kth missing number? Well, essentially, we need to go k minus the count of numbers missing before the element at lower bound index. Now, let's substitute this formula of missing before from up top, which is array of lower bound index minus lower bound index minus 1. So let's expand this equation and remove the parentheses. This will result in array of lower bound index plus k minus array of lower bound index plus lower bound index plus 1. Array of lower bound index and minus array of lower bound index will cancel each other out. So the equation simplifies to k plus lower bound index plus 1, which can also be written as lower bound index plus k plus 1. Now, here is the challenge. If we have a sorted array and know the count of missing numbers before each element, how can we determine the lower and upper bounds? Could a binary search be used? The answer is yes, we can totally use a binary search, although there is one key difference. So let's review the binary search and I'll explain the difference in a second. For binary search, low will be at index 0 and high will be at index 4 and we need to find the mid. In a normal binary search, when the element at mid matches the target we are searching for, we exit the loop. In this specific binary search, we won't find the kth missing positive number ever. So what's the goal? In this scenario, we keep iterating until our high index crosses over the low index. This approach will help us identify the two indices between which the kth positive number lies. And that is the key difference. If the count of missing numbers missing before mid is less than k, we'll search on the right side of mid, otherwise we'll search on the left side. We'll enumerate while low is less than equal to high, and once they cross over, meaning when high is less than low, we'll break from the loop. Since high and low have crossed over, high will be the lower bound index and low will be the upper bound index. And then we can apply the formula from the previous slide to get the kth missing number. Let's step through the binary search algorithm now. Uh, but before we proceed, can I please ask you to consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video if you find this content helpful? Your support will inspire me to produce additional content uh, similar to this and help out more people. Continuing with our binary search, the number of elements missing before mid is 2, which is less than k. So we'll move low to the right side of mid at mid plus 1, which is index 3. Let's calculate the new mid, which is low plus high, integer division by 2. That would be 3 plus 4 divided by 2 equal to 3. So mid is now at index 3. The count of elements missing before mid is 5, which is greater than k, and so we'll search on the left side of mid by moving high to mid minus 1 at index 2. At this point, 
high is less than low and so we'll break from the loop. Do recall from the earlier slides that since the high index has crossed over the low index, the low index will become the upper bound and the high index index becomes the lower bound between which the kth positive integer is located. Therefore, the kth missing number or the fourth missing number can be calculated as high plus k plus 1, which is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 1, which is equal to 7. So let's now review the code for binary search. So hopefully the code now is fairly straightforward to understand. In our function, we'll first initialize the search boundaries with low and high variables. Next, while we'll enumerate while low is less than equal to high. And the first thing we do inside the loop is calculate mid. We'll calculate the count of missing elements before mid. If the count of missing elements before mid is less than k, we'll increment low to mid plus 1. Else, we'll decrement high to mid minus 1. And finally, we'll return high plus k plus 1 as the kth missing positive number. This solution has a time complexity of O of log of n, where n is the total number of elements in the array. And this is because we only search within one half of the array. The space complexity is O of 1 or constant. I have included a link in the description to this code for you to try it out. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. Uh, please leave a comment uh, below if you have any question or if you have any feedback for me. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.